Welcome. So, here we go. I'm uh, here to make a little video about um, vertical and horizontal asymptotes. So, what we're going to do is we need to use our horizontal asymptote test, and that's the asymptote I'm going to um, try to find first. And I like to always look at the horizontal asymptote first because all I need to do is just apply my horizontal asymptote test and I can figure out what the horizontal asymptote is. So the first thing, remember, when we're talking about rational functions, we talked about we have a rational function and we represented them as a polynomial over another polynomial. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite these in descending order so I can get an idea of our polynomial. So I have negative 5x plus 1 divided by 2x plus 1. And if we look at, now they're in descending order, you can see that the exponent for each polynomial is 1. And whenever we have the exact same exponent for each polynomial, our horizontal asymptote is now going to be the division of our leading coefficient for our top polynomial over our leading coefficient for our bottom polynomial. So the horizontal asymptote, per the horizontal asymptote kind of test, is y equals negative 5 over 2. So that's going to be the line that our graph approaches horizontally. Again, I'll just remember, I'll just go through it again. When you have the same exponent for your polynomial up top and bottom, then what you do is you look at the coefficients, and that's going to be your line for your horizontal asymptote. Now for the vertical asymptote, remember we got to look at what's not going to be a part, right? Our vertical asymptote is what's going to be absent from our domain. So we look at what could be our restrictions of our um, in our domain. And since we have a polynomial up top and a poly polynomial on the bottom, the one constriction that's evident to me is our denominator cannot equal 0. Besides that, it seems like all real numbers for x, there's nothing that's going to be a problem for our function. However, if x is, uh, it, I'm sorry, if the denominator is equal to 0, we got a big problem, right? So I need to find out what values make that 0 on the bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say 1 plus 2x equals 0. So I want to find the values that make at or um, that for the values. Ah, 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 man, I can't talk. I want to find the values of x that are going to make this denominator 0. That's why I set it equal to 0. So I solve. x equals negative 1 half. So therefore, my vertical asymptote is going to be from negative infinity to infinity. However, x cannot equal negative 1 half. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is, uh, that is how you find the horizontal and vertical asymptote, as well as your, oh, so the vertical asymptote, well, it says your domain, but I didn't write it out there. So your vertical asymptote is x equals uh, negative 1 half. However, the domain, we'll do all real numbers like this. So your domain is going to be all real numbers where x cannot equal negative 1 half. So there you go. Thanks again for, for watching. Hope you enjoyed.